hello everyone and welcome to the channel i hope you are already aware about it that csir december 2024 scorecard is live you can download your scorecard and you can check your score in that what i'm going to discuss in this video is how you can predict your rank okay based upon the percentile which you have got in your scorecard so let's talk about that it is not very difficult it's just a basic mathematics which you have to do but to make things easier i have done a lot of things for you i'll share a google sheet for you where you just have to put your uh, like percentile and you will be able to get your rank okay i will tell you how to use that that will be fun i'll give you a link for that also in the description of this video so first let's understand about the whole process how it goes and how i came up with the formula again i'll tell you some disclaimer also and all the things related to that first of all this is the website in case if you have not downloaded your uh, core card you can just click on this partic particular link here that which says that join csir ugc net december 2024 click here to download a score card once you click on this particular link you will be able to see this page where you have to fill your application number date of birth and captcha code and that's how you can submit the next thing which you will get is your uh, uh, scorecard okay this is how your scorecard is going to look a major things or the important thing is about how many students have registered and how many students have appeared for your subject okay so this is only for this subject which is for uh, chemical sciences okay for chemistry so for chemistry there were like 52,937 students who have registered for the exam but 39,452 students appeared for the exam okay so whatever rank or whatever uh, you know uh, whatever competition is between 39,452 students okay now if you come down to your scorecard and if you see the scorecard this part will show you maximum marks and then it is your percentile score okay how much percentile you have scored and if you see your percentile is given up to seven digit or six digits of your decimal place so it is very precise per percentile given to you this will be your marks which is obtained and then these things written in numbers okay if you come a little down in the note section uh, if you see point number three here it is mentioned that the percentile score of the candidate has been calculated by this formula in which they have used uh, the number of candidates appeared in the session with raw score equal two or less than the candidate and the total number of candidates okay so be, with this you can find out that how many candidates have a score either or have rank either equal to you or how many candidates basically are equal to you or less than you so the formula is you have percentile this is equals to 100 multiplied by number of uh, candidates equal or equal or less than you and divided by total number of total number of candidates okay so if this is true if this is correct in that case if you know your percentile you know already how many students have appeared which is 39452 you can calculate how many students are equal or less than you so let's say if there are total 100 students okay let's say that total there are 100 students uh, who appeared for that and you got to know that there are 96 students who are either equal to you or less than you so what will be your rank so your rank will be uh, like four right or three or four that will be your rough rank so you can approximately find out your rank now this technique is approximate it's not absolute the reason is because in csir net there are like you will find out more than one people at a same rank if you see previous results also you will see that e, like although they all belong to chemistry okay it's not like they all belong to different subjects like for example you can be in chemical sciences and you can be at rank let's say 96 and there are like three more people on rank 96 three more people who have got rank 96 so this is totally possible in csir okay so that's that's why this technique is not absolute it is approximate okay so to make things easier i have made a google sheet which i will share with you guys in the uh, like in the description of this video it's very simple i have just used this formula but just so that you don't have to do all these maths you don't have to use your calculator i have made things very easy for you let me show that okay because i'm very happy to share that with you guys so yeah here is the google sheet i have made a disclaimer just to make sure that i double 
tell you about this that this tool is designed to approximate your percentage and estimate your rank based on the given percentile the values are indicative only and it should not be considered as the actual final result the final result may be vary depending upon official normalization tie breaking rules and all the other things our channel does not guarantee the accuracy of the estimated rank and it is not responsible for any consequences and the final result by csir and ta is going to be the final uh, i mean that will be the final result whatever we are doing here is just approximating it okay so let's try to find out for this let's say if my percentile is 95.56169529 okay so i just have to put that value here in this green box which says that type your percentile here and the, just click enter so you just have to double click on this and after this you can put the value okay so the value was 95.5616952 okay and after putting this if i put enter so i can get that this is the approximate rank 1751 now this is again approximate rank as i have said it's not absolute rank uh, it is just a value which suggests that your rank will be somewhere around it it will be uh, actually sometimes better in most of the cases it will be better than what value we are predicting because because there will be more number of students with with the same rank so your rank will be pushed a little higher so with this you can also try and get your rank you can see what rank you are getting again for csir net let me tell you that generally this is again a general trend okay which we see generally okay approximately approximately 800 jrf are given okay 800 jrf in chemical sciences so if your rank lies somewhere around it uh, then in most of the cases you are in okay and again there will be reservation and uh, depending upon your uh, like depending upon which category you belong and all the other things that is another part okay but uh, if you if this this is what the approximate jrf seats are there okay these are jrf seats if, if the seat does not vary much this is approximate value uh, jrf seats okay these are approximate jrf seats and almost equal number of an ls seat also we have every time so try to do it it's fun you can just try it and find out what rank you have approximate rank which you are getting and uh, do let me know in the comment section uh, what rank you have got you have got that's it from my side for this particular video i just wanted to share with all of you uh, about this particular rank prediction approximate rank predictor and uh, i will see you guys in the next video till then have a great day bye, -bye. take care hello everyone i just wanted to let you guys know that our delta batch is already live on our app as well as on our website link is there in the description of this video you can quickly enroll into this particular batch in this batch we are providing detailed classes for physical chemistry all the chapters all the topics of physical chemistry in detail all these lectures are in the recorded form so whenever you want you can watch these videos the second most important thing of this batch is we are providing with mock test now these are topic wise mock test as well as mixed mock test and full length mock test so after completion of every topic we have a mock test associated with it and then after finishing three or four topics we have a combined mixed mock test and at the end of the course at the end of this batch we have a full physical chemistry mock test which contains a lot of new and previous years question mixed all together which is going to help you to evaluate how much you have performed well how much you have studied a topic and this is going to give you a good idea about your uh, like how much physical chemistry you have understood the classes are made in a way that it will be useful for csi net exam so please enroll into this particular batch link is there in the description of this video and uh, 